Update on my uh, rectifier box, my controller. Um, here's a picture of the box before uh, I did anything to it. It was some sort of motor control box and in my last video I think I showed the rectifiers that I was going to use. And here's the box afterwards. You can see I got the rectifiers uh, in there. Uh, the heat sinks rather. Uh, I put a turbine on off switch and there's the innards. What I'm going to do is, here's the two uh, rectifier circuits. Uh, three phase is going to come in. It's going to go through those rectifiers and come out as DC here. And then I'm going to pull the DC off and down to my batteries. This here is a uh, Glenn Hurd. They call it the GERD controller. It's basically sent uh, a voltage sensor and it'll turn on a, an FET to, to dump extra power. Um, just want to provide an update on, on where I'm at. And you can see this is some sort of old motor controller or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what it was used for. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm either going to put this cheap Chinese uh, ammeter in here or a good old made in Chicago, Illinois, USA uh, ammeter here. Either way, I got to calculate a shunt resistance. And that shunt resistance is nothing more than a, than a portion of, uh, see if I can do this. The shunt resistance is, if you got your meter here, it's got a built-in resistance in the coil. Okay, so your input signal comes in over here, exits over here. This usually works on very, very small uh, currents. Of amperage. So what you need to do is put an inline resistor here, a very low um, value in proportion to the uh, the current going through the uh, perceived resistance of this meter. I hope I'm making sense here, but you want this to flow a lot of current through here and proportionally less through here. And uh, there's equations to make that happen um, to figure out the values of the resistor needed here. And in my case, this meter has a very sensitive uh, meter movement, so I might need nothing more than perhaps a few feet of a certain gauge wire. I just got to make sure it can handle the amperage that I might incur in my turbine. Um, but I'm still considering this little Chinese meter is just not going to be as sensitive and probably as accurate. So those are my uh, my rectifier diodes. Diodes come in many shapes and sizes. There's small diodes, larger diodes. Um, diodes are basically a valve, a one-way valve. So you've got AC current at zero volts and goes up and down. Um, the windmill will produce all sorts of weird frequencies and, and amplitudes and you know all sorts of different waveforms coming out of that because it's not regulated like your power company at 60 hertz and a diode well basically it's like a valve in a water line so anything above so this is positive voltage here this is negative voltage here it will take anything uh, positive or negative whichever we wire it and filter it off so everything coming through is positive. And you could do the same thing with negative, playing some tricks in a rectifier, a bridge rectifier, and you could basically use zero as a reference and negative as a reference, make negative look like zero, so that potential between here and here is more positive, so you basically get this. So you're getting basically a DC voltage out, and that's the basis of what I'm doing here. It's all over the net. If you don't know what this is, you might want to uh, search uh, rectifier circuits, uh, diodes, rectification, uh, if that intrigues you. Um, but anyways, yeah, there's all sorts of diodes. There's uh, even detector diodes. Um, in an, even an AM or an FM circuit, there's a detector diode in a, in a RF uh, signal that comes over your radio. You basically have a carrier signal um, there's something called an add 
and a difference and uh, the difference is basically an imposed signal that carries the information that you hear in your radio and you use different de detector diodes to uh, to pull that information out but you can see the different diodes here you can see I got square diodes there's a couple diodes there's four diodes built in one square unit there um, diodes can come in different looks and feel here's a few diodes wired up as a, as a rectifier circuit just like what you're seeing there these are a little larger might be able to handle more they're a little older I got a bag full of those by the way if anybody needs a few of these drop me a drop me a note I've got plenty um, they can look like this and I forget what is that TO package maybe a TO 222 or some package uh, you know there's some automotive diodes work with alternators you can see they're built into the heat sinks there I have some pretty large diodes here this one uh, I believe it's a diode I'm pretty sure it is anyway it's all under tape but look at these monsters I mean those are some behemoth diodes there super super high voltage or current uh, one of the two um, anyway that's my update um, next update I'll have the meter in and uh, three phase will come in it'll be connected here it'll go through the diodes come out as DC per my chicken scratch scribbles and the DC will come out um, of these two terminals and it will go down to my battery bank to induce any uh, current into my battery that I can hopefully measured with one of these so that's a little update um, that's all I got thanks for watching